with a small property of 100 acres it was, but uh, now 2,300 acres. And um, when we started, I just had uh, some stock horses I was interested in. I thought I'd start uh, breeding horses, uh, which I did in the stock horses. And then uh, I needed an arena, and so I thought I'd get an arena. And then I wanted some covered stables, and uh, one thing led to another. We've got the fantastic Alinga Park with uh, convention centres, uh, probably about uh, 250 stables and more under construction. Animal hospital, uh, veterinary hospital, uh, uh, which will be the biggest uh, uh, in this region in Australia. One thing leads to another and you think, well, if I want to get that a little bit better, you should do this or that, and uh, that's what we've tried to do. We've tried to do our very, very best as, uh, as I can possibly do, and, uh, give it a fair shot. And I hope one day that uh, it'll be of great benefit to equestrian sport in Australia. I'd like to see the uh, Olympic teams train here and uh, all our top athletes in equine come here. It's uh, expensive, but uh, it's good that uh, we can got our own destiny in our hands. For those people that are less enthusiastic about the dressage, there's beautiful gardens and there's an antique car supply, uh, display here this year too. So uh, just walk about the property as they own the place and uh, enjoy what you see and, and uh, have a good day out. Mary, congratulations on not only winning the freestyle today, but also the Grand Prix and the Grand Prix last week and the Grand Prix freestyle. And it was interesting to see that you had uh, two scores, uh, almost identical for the freestyle. Which one did you prefer? Well, I was very happy with the first week. I, I guess I'm a little disappointed because you always like the second week to improve things. Look, I have to say that anything that went wrong there was my fault, really. Um, she's just such a gorgeous horse, but she's quite a sensitive girl and um, I just have to make everything right for her. I absolutely love freestyles um, and I love the, the fact that you get a chance to express your own um, yourself through your music and your choreography. I think that's wonderful and I mean dressage is supposed to be like a kind of ballet with a horse. So to be able to uh, incorporate your own ideas of what you love in music and, and make a choreography that suits your horse, it's just a really lovely thing to do. You know, with COVID and everything, it was a pretty devastating time. But the good, you've got to look at the positives. And the positive was we got a lot of time to just sit and train and think. And I made that freestyle during the COVID time. Um, and I had, you know, when you go to make a freestyle, that really takes a lot of work and a lot of time and a lot of thought. And I thought, I want to make something really special for Siri. So I really worked on that freestyle. Um, at that, that time, Patrick did help me with it. And um, I have to say that Lyndall contributed to the music. The, um, she found that music, the canter music, and then I took it the whole way through. I used the whole of the Australia um, theme through that. Um, so it was really lovely to have the time without any pressure to just sit there and do that freestyle and practice it and put it together and get the music right. I really put a lot of hard work into it, I have to say. Without any reservation, I can say that this is probably the best show I've been to in the world. It's just amazing. The horses love it, the people love it. We just have the best time here. The facilities are absolutely perfect. The footing's very, very good. Um, the staff are friendly. Everything is set here for you to get the best score you can get.